Now, with that warning about your tires, tens of millions of you are hitting the road for the holiday, and a lot of you facing some nasty weather out there. Our Gio Benitez is here. Gio, this is an important reminder, yes, but if you are not looking at those tires, you could literally be putting yourself at risk on the road. Oh, absolutely, TJ. Good morning. Yeah, we know cars are loaded with safety features. They warn us about important things like low tire pressure, but one thing they may not tell you is when you have low tread tires, and that's when they have just smoothed out, lost their grip. So this morning, we've got an important warning about those worn tires, and we are taking them out for a test run. They're like seen straight out of action movies, a hydroplaning accident caught on camera, and there's this near crash on wet roads. Experts say many times low tread tires are to blame. People aren't aware so much that as their tires are wearing, they're also losing performance in certain areas, wet, snow, ice. To show how dangerous low tread tires can be, we go to the Consumer Reports auto test track. Our first demo, hydroplaning. That's when tires lose contact with the road. This can happen when your tire has such low tread that it isn't able to disperse the water on the road. A wedge of water forms in front of the tire and the driver loses the ability to steer. First, we try brand new tires. I'm going to enter the water. We approach this slight curve at 50 miles per hour, driving through less than an inch of standing water. And I'm able to stay on yeah. that curve. Yeah, you never lost control. But it's a different case when we switch to low tread tires, about half the amount as the new ones. Experts say this is when you should start shopping for new tires. So there's less channels, less grooves for the water to dissipate from. And watch, our car is not able to stay on that curve. We completely lose control of steering. The car wants to go straight. Next, we try braking in wet conditions. A tire that has good grip will stop in a shorter distance. There we, we go. go, zero to 60. At 60 miles per hour on the wet track. And I'm gonna do a panic stop. We slam on the brakes while computers in the car measure the distance it takes for the car to stop. With the new tires, the car stops at 161 feet. But when we hit the track with the low tread tires. We're gonna do the same speed, 60 miles per hour. Ryan slams on those brakes again. Wow. That's a significant difference. The car stops at 202 feet, about 40 feet farther than with the new tires. That's more than the length of two cars. These tires are technically not worn out completely. They're yeah. just, they're at 430 seconds. Uh, so it's a good time to start looking at new tires. A decision that could save a life down the road. So important to take a look at this. So how do you know when it's time to look for new tires? Well, here is a really easy way. You can just use a quarter to measure your tread depth. Check this out right now, because if you put that quarter upside down and you put George Washington's head into the groove, these are brand new tires. You can see the top of his head. Uh, that's a good thing, uh, but you can't see much of his head. That's that's a good thing. But over here, when you move this over here, you can really start seeing his head here. That's actually very bad. That's when you have to go ahead and look at these new tires. You want to look for all season tires. That's about every 50 to 60,000 miles. TJ? All right, Gio, we appreciate it. And poor George Washington. Yeah. Yeah. Never imagined being used this right. way, but still, <laughs> he's serving his purpose. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.